pay for eco work. It is very important. Eileen Rizzo, a teacher consultant, is clearly having an impact on her young daughters. I realized that whatever I do affected not only my daughters, but other people's daughters. And that when we talk as parents and we think about, oh, I want to leave the world better for my children, it's just words until you put it into action. What Eileen is doing is becoming the face for California's and perhaps the nation's fight for equal pay for equal work. Her story was featured on the NBC Nightly News about a year ago. Rizzo says her fight is about the future for her daughters. Eileen discovered after working as a math teacher consultant for the Fresno County Office of Education that she was getting paid nearly $20,000 less than her male counterpart. This despite her greater level of experience and educational background. I was so shocked at that moment and my, my heart almost felt like in my stomach and I was trying to think of how that could have happened? Was it a mistake? What, what could I do about it? Soon she realized her employers were not willing to do anything. Her salary, they insisted, was based on what she was making in her previous job. I was so discouraged. Um, I felt like I had no voice because no one wanted to, to have an honest conversation with me to answer the questions that I had. Assemblymember Nora Campos is determined to do something about the issue of equal pay for equal work. If the woman doesn't have the ability to be able to negotiate on her terms, we continue the cycle of the wage gap and we are never going to close it. Campos has authored Assembly Bill 1017. The legislation would prohibit an employer from asking about an applicant's prior salary. The employer will ask, well, what was your previous salary? And that's where the cycle starts and the wage gap continues. So they won't have the ability to do that, which I think creates an even playing field for women and hopefully for everyone. Employers would instead be required to evaluate candidates based on objective criteria, like education, skills, and experience. In today's world, and women are still not paid equal to men, Eileen Rizzo never thought she'd find herself in the spotlight like this when she was getting one of her two master's degrees. She just wanted to do what she loves. The passion that I had was that if I could help teachers, then I could reach more students that way. And that's what I was doing, I was helping teachers. Now she's on a mission to teach a great lesson to her daughters with the help of her husband and to fight for the rights of other women as well. More and more ladies were coming to me and saying, that's happened to me too, that happened to me too, but I just got another job, but I just moved somewhere else. And I realized that I wasn't the only one, but that there was a lot of women saying, we hope you, we hope you do well in this lawsuit, as though I was doing it for them too, because I didn't want my daughters to go through what I had, had gone through. It was emotionally distraught. There were times that I would cry at night because I was so frustrated with the system that didn't let me break the stereotypes I thought I already had broke. And I didn't want my daughters to work so hard and then to come out at the end and sit next to a man that was gonna take more money home to his family for really no good reason. I'm very proud of my wife. Uh, I never imagined having three beautiful daughters uh, with her. She is a strong woman. One of her favorite heroes is Wonder Woman. She's a modern day Wonder Woman to me. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.